The Central Executive In Babley's model of working memory, the Central Executive is the master system, controlling the other three slave systems. It takes information from the slave systems and exerts top-down control to optimise behaviour. Babley compared it to a homunculus, a little man in the head who gives orders, as well as equating it to the supervisory attention system. Central Executive and SAS is to believed to be controlled from the dorsolateral region of the frontal lobe. Smith and Janidas created a list of functions of the Central Executive. There is considerable overlap with the SAS Executive functions. 1. Switching attention between tasks. Babley performed several dual task experiments. He had participants remember a 1 to 8 digit sequence, while simultaneously generating a random sequence. As sequence length increased, the randomness of the generous generated sequence decreased. Both tasks and switching between them tax the central executive. 2. Planning subtasks to achieve a specific goal. This is seen in the multiple errands test. Patients are asked to buy a series of items in a short time limit, so they must use an optimal strategy. Healthy volunteers move fairly systematically between shops, but patients with a disexecutive syndrome, a lesion in the dorsolateral region of the frontal lobe, do not. They made poor choices in planning the most efficient route. 3. Updating and checking working memory stores. This allows the system to update itself. Without it, such issues as perseverance are seen, which is continuation of a useless action when the rules are changed. This updating was imaged in the dorsolateral region of the frontal lobe. 4. Selective attention on certain stimuli while ignoring others. In a clinical study of 32 cases with disexecutive syndrome, both increased distractibility by environmental stimuli and utilisation, responding impulsively to some irrelevant objects in the environment but not others, was seen, as well as perseverance. The central executive also provides the link between working and long-term memory. This central executive disorder was seen in a patient, KJ, who could recall a story immediately after reading, but had no memory that he had been told a story half an hour later. That's it. Thanks for watching.